Kate Northwest Market Center Real Sales Talk here with Dina Jones. Hi. Guys, I'm excited to talk to Dina because uh, Dina, how many months in the business? Um, well, I got my real estate license last January. Last January. I just joined Keller Williams this January. Right. And the Moats team, Rock in the House expansion team yeah. from the Southwest Market Center. So um, you just really started this January. Yeah. And so um, you're out there, you're hustling, you're bustling. How are you generating business? Um, prospecting. Circle mm -hmm. prospecting, FISBOs, expires. Um, so phone calls, have, have you ever done that before? Making phone calls? No. Mm -hmm. So initially, how did you feel about making those kind of calls? It's really scary. Okay. Yeah. And so how did you come over some of those fears? Because uh, January, February, March, um, we're into April now. So 90 plus days, how did you move through that? Just doing it and mm -hmm. I mean, it's it gets easier as you go. It's never fun, mm -hmm. but um, having help from my team yeah. and support, but um, just being okay with failing, like getting out there and messing up. Yeah, and look, um, she's messing up at a high level because I know this because she is um, engaged in the big C word, consistency, and how I know that uh, um, the most team, and especially with what you, what your values are, to be able to continue doing things over and over and over again until we see results, because we know the results will come, and those results came in a huge way with a giant listing. This is why I asked her to come, yeah. because um, you just signed a listing, and uh, tell them the amount. It's 3.8 million. 3.8 million, and three plus months in the business. We priced it right, yeah. right? Um, and so how, now you haven't been in business that long. How did you take a three, no. almost $4 million listing without being in the business that long? Uh, well, circle prospecting. It was someone I talked to a couple months ago at first, mm -hmm. and I didn't even know we were using you know, auto dialers, so I really didn't even know who I was talking to when right. I first picked up the call. Beautiful. Ignorance, is, is, ignorance is bliss. Yes, I love that. Absolutely. <laughs> because I probably would have been really scared. Right. Um, so you had no idea the value of the home you were calling. The dialer yeah. was just calling on. Right. And then so that initial contact, I remember she was a little standoffish, right? Yeah, she, you know, how'd you get my number? Uh, yeah, you know, we might, it was a, I got a maybe, you know, maybe interested in selling, but I'm not really telling you anything. Mm -hmm. and so it was a nurture, essentially, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And then how did you follow up to get to the appointment, and then how did you land it? Yeah, I just kept calling. Um, even if they didn't answer, I'd leave a message just to say, hey, I'm here and checking in. How long from the initial point of contact to um, contacting the to actual voice-to-voice -voice where she said, where the, the conversation progressed? Uh, probably took about two months. Two months? Yeah. Okay. How many touches would you say you, you had in between that time frame? Um, about maybe eight. Okay, that falls right in the um, sales category as far as six to eight touches before an appointment. So you're right in the zone right there. And then so you get to the appointment, she says, okay, well, I want, I'm want i willing to talk about it. Yep, yeah. And so I go out there and just, it was it was really just kind of simple, sweet, just saw, saw the house, mm -hmm. um, talked about, you know, what, what, what would it take, what was worth it for you to make right, this right. move. Right, right, right. And then um, she said, okay, come back. And next week, my husband here. And so I came back the next week. And, and then, boom. Yeah, a couple questions about marketing, you know, fell back on my team, the, you know, what we could do in marketing mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, stuff like that. And then that's it. Kind and of just like that, because I'm picking up the phone, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And bam, I got a $4 million listing. Now, I know you guys are taking so many more listings in regards to what you're doing. And I'm so, I want to say personally that I'm so proud of you and that um, what you're doing matters because you're helping people who want to be helped. And yeah, you got to do some of the ditch digging and yeah, you have to do the hard work. But um, what's valuable and worthy takes hard work. Yeah. And if hard work is just pushing through some rejection or people who aren't interested to just help the people who do need to be helped. $4 million later, right. then uh, it makes it all worth it, doesn't it? Absolutely. Does it feel yeah. good? Yeah, it does. Feels great. <laughs> yeah, of course it does. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. I'm so proud of you. You guys get out there and make some money. Talk to you soon.